Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make bottle cap badge reels. Stand by. Project, you will need bottle caps. I got these off of Amazon. It came in a um, kit with all of these colors in it. Um, you will need E6000 or hot glue if you want to, but E6000 works best in this. You'll need resin dots, um, a one inch hole puncher, and badge reels. And you'll also need an image. I will be showing you how to um, size your image in a few so you'll need these items plus the image to do this project so the next step i'll bring you over to the computer to show you how to um, get your images and print them out for this part you will um, have to upload an image from the internet or you can get images off of etsy so i'll show you both ways this set came off of etsy and it was on a sheet of fifth no 15 yeah, 15, I'm sorry. It was in a sheet of 15 um, and I separated three of them just to uh, make sure that they are in the correct size. So it comes in a sheet and I'll show you. You can type in to Google one inch images for bottle caps, hit, um, you know, enter and then go to images and then you'll see a ton of them pop up that are sold on etsy so some are quotes some are pictures some are everything in between um you can go there and get your images from there from etsy if you want to pay for them or you can just make your own so i ended up getting a sheet from etsy just because um i wanted it and it came in a large sheet and each image is one inch in size. So you wanna make sure that your image is one inch in size because the bottle cap is one inch and the um, resin dot is one inch and you want your image to be covered by the resin dot and you want it to fit in the bottle cap. So that is key. So the images that are sold on Etsy are already in that size. All you have to do is pretty much hole punch them out you can also just type in something that you want to um let's say red lips you can just type in that let me type in png here we go so if you wanted some red lips you can just highlight that save it oops i hit the wrong thing you want to save it oh goodness And then it'll download to wherever your images download to, and then you'll upload it into your Cricut Design Space as such. And before I do that, this is what the sheet looked like. So it came in a large sheet right here, and I uploaded it to Etsy. I'm mean, not Etsy into um, Cricut Design Space, and then I separated each one, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So for the lips. You know, just upload, clear that background out. Nope. You go to advanced. If you ever get that where it looks kind of checkered, you can just go to advanced, type in a high number, and then your background will be good to go. Let me um, clear that out first. There we go. So now everything is good. And then hit continue, save. And then you'll just upload it like you do any other picture into design space. Now you want to get a shape, a circle, one inch, and you'll just want to make it one inch around. So you'll just do that. Or you can type it in here, unlock this, and then type in one. But it's already at one inch. Next you want to make your lips one inch. And 
and you can undo that, type 1, and then type 1, enter, and send that to front. And you don't have to save it to the circle. You just want to make sure it fits in the circle just to give you like an idea of how it'll fit on your bottle cap. And there you go. So there's your image there. And then if you end up cutting out images, you can, or printing them out from Etsy, you can just take your sheet, get a shape like a square, highlight, a row and this is very tedious so if you don't want to do this you don't have to you can just take it to word and um, print out the whole sheet and hopefully it'll be the size of one inch if not you'll have to reprint your stuff out so this is an easier way to just make sure all of your stuff will be in that one inch then it'll separate like this and then you'll take another shape Cover up these two, highlight, slice, clear out the stuff you don't need, move that one out the way, and then you'll just do the same steps for the whole thing until you get the amount of um, bottle caps that you wanted. And you'll just click the whole thing, slice. And exit that. And then these two. Oh, goodness. I'm not, oh, I didn't cover. I covered up the whole thing. Um, you'll just cover up one, not both of them. You'll highlight that. Slice. Clear that out. And then there you go. And these are, see how it's better to do it. Um separate them because then you'll see if it's one inch so these are not in one inch you'll make these one inch or a little under one inch so they'll fit oops i didn't hit enter there we go and then you'll just make sure all of them are one inch. And once everything is at one inch, you'll um, go ahead and send it to make it. And that's how you'll do that one. For this one, I printed, I saved the Care Bear. And then I just attached a blue circle. I put the circle behind it and then attached the blue circle to the blue Care Bear. So that's how I did that one. Um, and then the other one, I just made it into... A little less than one inch and that's fine because when it cuts it'll cut the circle so and we'll get to that so that's how you get your images I will go ahead and finish sizing the rest of these and go ahead and print them out and then we'll get to the assembling part all right so we have all of our stuff printed out I forgot to um resize those ones so those ones are a dud but the rest of them are able to fit into the um hole puncher so what you're going to do you can put it through your Cricut machine and have Cricut cut out the circle if you want to or you can just use a regular one inch hole puncher you can get these from any craft store or amazon i'm going to just use my hole puncher and what you will do is kind of cut So the, um, you can get to the pitcher with your hole puncher because if you don't cut and make a way, you won't be able to um, cut it out right. So I'm just going to cut out a few of them, not all of them right now. And what I like to do is I put the pitcher in like this so I can see it. So you can read what it says so I know that I'm going to cut around the um, picture versus putting it in like this because then I can't see where the picture is. So I put it in with the picture face up or face down, I should say, and then um, I just line it up.
I squeeze. And then the picture comes out and then it's in a perfect one inch circle. So that's all you do. And for this one, it did not have a circle. So basically I'm just gonna make my circle around it exactly how I want it and there we go and I printed mine's on cardstock you can print it on regular paper if that's all you have is regular paper because you won't be touching the actual picture it'll be covered up and on something so you won't um, be touching the picture so it doesn't really matter if you use regular paper or cardstock I just use some cardstock for mine um, I will go ahead and cut out a few more so I can have them for the um, other um, badge reels. too big for um the thing i just found two more let me see these and then somehow these ones were too small so whatever so i have enough so um i'm gonna take one i'm gonna take this one and i'm gonna take my bottle cap i'm gonna get out four bottle caps blue blue do a red and black one. Um, a pink one. A pink one. And then a black one. Oops, I grabbed a red one thinking I was grabbing pink. Pink one. Alright, and like I said, I got these bottle caps from Amazon. They came in a bag, and I just put them in that um, container I got from Michael's, I think. Alright, so what you'll do first is you'll just take an image. So pick whatever image you want. Let's do Love Matters. And you'll just sit it inside of your... Um, bottle cap so you see how it fits nice and neatly inside the bottle cap it's not too big it's not too small if it's nicely in there and then what you'll do is you'll take your resin dot and i believe i got these off of amazon too you'll take your resin dot and you will gently put it on top of your image and you can actually do it without putting it inside the bottle cap if you wanted to, if it was easier that way. What you'll do is just match the bottle cap up with your image. I mean, not bottle cap, your resin dot up with your image. And then you'll just press it. So you'll just press it as such make sure it's covering up and the resin dot on the other side is sticky so it's sticky on the other side you don't want to touch the other side because your fingerprints will be on the other side and it will show up in the resin dot so when you're picking it up pick it up from the side make sure you don't touch the underside when that is done you can put it in here and see how it'll look and then you can take your um, glue I should have got a different one this one's kind of sealed up oh, let me grab another glue y'all all right so you'll take your glue and you'll just put a little dot in the middle
and you can spread it out if you wish because you want to make sure that it's covered your the pitcher is covered so it doesn't come out of the um bottle cap and then you'll just drop it in there and you'll just press firmly and of course you have to wait for it to dry but this part is pretty much done you'll take your badge reel and you want to make sure it is aligned just right. And you're going to see how it looks like that on your badge reel. And you're going to put a dot of E6000 and smush it around. You want to make sure you put enough on there so it is good to go and it won't move. You can also use um, UV resin and just put UV resin on it if you want it to dry faster and just put it underneath the UV lamp for two to four minutes and it'll um, seal or hear quicker. But if you don't have UV resin and you just have E6000, you can just use E6000 without any difficulties. And that is pretty much, oop, I need to drop it. That's pretty much all you do. Your badge reel is complete. You want to make sure it's nice and even. Your letters or your picture is even with this part right here. And then you'll just let that dry. And I kind of like to put it face down. Because if you put it on its back, it'll slide because of the alligator clip. So you just want to put it face down for it to dry. So you'll just let that dry for about 24 hours. And then you'll come back to it. I'm going to assemble the other three. And then we'll um, come back. at least 24 hours so they um, wouldn't like move or anything like that they are nicely secured to the badge rail I ended up putting some glitter on the um, like button on both sides of this one and then I just added a couple charms on there um, the charms are optional and the glitter is optional but I think it just kind of makes it look a little cuter like that so that's that one and then the blue one I did the same thing I added a charm on there an M and then the stethoscope and then some blue glitter so that's that one and then on this one I added a lipstick like a little lipstick charm and then I'm put some glitter there so we're going to do that and then with this one I'm going to add two charms and then I put like some um B uh what is these uh shoot crystals <laughs> sorry some crystals around the outside so i'm gonna finish that up with y'all on camera and i use uv resin to secure my um crystals on i have um gem tech i have gem tech and i also have um the e6000 i don't like using e6000 because the odor is very strong and it's messy so i don't like that and then you have to wait 24 hours for it to dry um 
and the gym tech is messy it comes out white it dries clear but you also have to wait for it to dry up um the uv resin you put it on there you put it under the uv light and then you're pretty much done so um what like four minutes for it to kind of harden up and for real for real once you put it under there it kind of sets immediately and then you just have to you know make sure it's cured on there so you leave it under there a couple more minutes but that's why i use uv resin you can use whatever um you choose to use there's also like bleed not bleeding be beading glue um from e6000 that you can also use um but you, like again you have to let that dry for at least 24 hours so you're sure that your um crystals and um your bottle caps and stuff will stick on there all right so let me just put this on here and like i said i use uv resin i'm just gonna spread it out a little bit and you just need like a little thin coat so it drops Spread it out to where you want it to go. And I have a wax pen. I brought this off of Amazon. I've had this for a long time, so it looks gunky and everything because of glue and whatnot. But um, it came in, you know, this one came with one. They also sell them with like three in a pack and so forth. And I also have this pick-me-up thing from Silhouette. Um, uh, I'm not sure where I purchased this one from. But you can um, search it and you'll probably be able to find it somewhere. Um, but I like my wax pen better. The Silhouette pen, it has like putty in it. So you kind of squeeze it out and the putty um, comes out and then you can pick up your um, stones that way. Um, but I kind of like the wax pen a little bit better than the um, putty. <laughs> two to four minutes and it will be good to go just make sure it's on the all right and then i'll put those crystals on once that's done and then i'm going to put some black right here so i'm just going to take the uv resin all you really need is a drop you don't need a lot, just a drop. I'm not even sure if you can see how much is in there, but you don't even need a lot. Get some glitter. I got this from Michael's. This is um, Recollections. I'm going to just take a scoop. I probably scooped too much. Let's try to put some back in there. Here we go. And just mix it up. And you just take the drop and drop it in there. And then I'm just going to sit that underneath the UV lamp as well. For about the same amount of time. And um, then we'll take it out and then it'll be good to go. So I'm just going to leave the one um, charm on there. Okay, and once that side is done, you'll just flip it over and then put um, more on the other button. And you're just dropping it in there. It'll cover up nicely. Like, it'll round itself out and everything. So, just drop it in there. And then... Set it underneath the UV lamp. Okay, so this one is done. So this one is done. So you see how that looks on the side. All right, and then we have the pink glitter right there. So the next, all I'm going to do, let me move this out the way before I knock it over again. 
And I got these crystals from, um, oh my goodness, Truly Jams. I can't think of her business um, name, but I'll put it in the description box below. Um, I brought these a while ago um, from there. So I'll put it in the description box below. Her crystals are very pretty and um, they're not um, that expensive. So, and for this one, I'm just going to put some charms on. it on there and all you're doing is getting a jump ring and you're just slipping it onto the base of the um bedroom and when you open up the jump ring try not to twist it um because it'll open up too wide and then you'll have to pinch the sides just kind of push it like let me see just twist it in one direction So, I'll just take this and just twist it like one towards you and then hold the other one steady. Try not to move it out. Just move it side, like front to back. Right. And this is just a little bead charm. And I, oops. And I'll show you how to do that with the hat pins. It's just two beads and a spacer and a hat pin and then you'll just um curve it um if you don't know what i'm talking about uh but i did make a video with the um acrylic keychains it's called bead charms and just check that out and i'll show it'll show you how to make these these um bead charms here and so i'll just take this one and put it on there Okay. make sure you open it wide enough because obviously I did not there we go and then you just hold one side and twist and then there you go a really cute bead, bead, um, bead charm. A really cute badge reel. So it's nice and blinged out. It has the bottle cap on there with the um, picture inside with the um, resin dot. Then you have the two charms on there with some glitter on the bead, not the bead, the button um, closer or whatever that's called. Um, don't give me the line with that one. And then this one is all done as well. It has the black glitter on it, just like that. And then I'm just gonna put one charm on that one. So there we go. So that is how you make the bottle cap badge reels with just a little bit more um, embellishment on there just to kind of spice them up. Um, if you have like a little store or um, an Etsy shop, or you have an online business, or if you have like a little booth, or a vendor event, or anything like that, these would be really cute to add to it. And you set the price for what the materials you use, and etc. So that's just a little cute thing. Or if you wanted to give them away as gifts, or um, some free things for like giveaways or something free with a purchase of over a certain amount, that will be good to add to your um, store or whatever. So just a quick little thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy the content of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're watching this video, but you're not subscribed to this channel. And also hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. All right, everyone. Until next time. Peace.